Hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. Where we last left off, we had just uh, charged through the sleeping village uh, without killing a single innocent person. <laughs> Are there ever any innocent people? I don't know, but uh, we spared the local inhabitants. We did kill 110 border guards. Possibly not that many, but it certainly felt like that many, especially at the end. Uh, now we have to move on to the Asylum Grounds. We have the Shadow Demon Artifact in our hands. But we need to go have a look at the Mayor, who has apparently been captured and sent to the Asylum. So, let's go. We do have to go through the gardens before we can get into the uh, Asylums. But that's okay. The Asylum Grounds. Dare you, ch uh, you dare challenge Jack of the Green for someone without skin? You've got a lot of nerve. Yes. This is a more interesting mission. Um, yes, bit puzzly. I like it. Yes, sir, I like it. So, Dan, let's go. I'm also recording with a higher bit rate at the moment. I'm hoping that's going to... Uh, Improve things. Just a little bit. Right, here we go. We also got the spear. Yeah, the spear is actually a powerful weapon. I mean, it does 90 damage. It is. It does do more damage than any other ranged weapon in the game. I just, I'm not a fan. And it really is glitchy to read these books. This is the Garden of Zero. Hmm. Nothing here is as it first seems. To leave this maze, you must first seek out the one called Jack of the Green. Jack of the Green, eh? Well, let's go see if we can find this fellow. There's a star. How cute. Yeah, we don't have a chaos... Ooh, hello. We don't have a chaos rune just yet, but we do have a lot of bad guys. Let's equip... Ah, you know what? Should we try these? There we go. Oh, bloody hell. You can see they're actually quite slow, sadly. Um... They're, I mean, they are a better weapon than on the PlayStation uh, 1 version. For instance, PlayStation 1 version, they had a lot more of a curve to them. And they traveled slower, much slower. Uh, so I guess they are more usable when you, when you think about it, but I don't know. The fact that they are slow and um they're very expensive as well. Just, uh, yeah, not, not, not a fan. Anyway. Let's go kill this guy as well. Right, well, looks like we've come to a dead end. Hmm, another star bush. Curious. Anyway, let's have a look at our Book of Gallomere, shall we? Now, what have we got? Friendlies. We don't have any friendlies around here, that's for damn sure. Mad monks, you say? Disciples of the head monk, these men of the cloth have been driven mad men. by the disappearance of their master. And Jack's incessant ramblings. The harsh chime of a bell tells them an unwelcome guest has arrived. Or that it's time for dinner. Perhaps both. Mm, bit of a crazy looking mofo. Well, I'm sure we're going to be dispatching a lot of those in our time in the gardens. Hedges. People seldom consider how hard it is to trim a sentient shrub. Not least the fire-breathing types, who would just as soon set themselves ablaze as play understudy in your latest topiary production. No, gardeners in Galamere do not get enough credit. Mm, well, looks like we're going to uh, be doing a little bit of groundskeeping in our, in our stay here. So it looks like we've got an owl with tentacles. We've got some weird jolly man. There's a scarecrow type chap looks like we have a dragon we just killed the dragon there's a clown and a elephant by the look of things anyway uh come down let's go have a little look at uh, our friend here jack of the green all right there buddy greetings so forth is given my name is jack of the green Man. i Sick. am the master of riddles and this maze is my domain you are free to leave but only once you've answered four riddles Puzzles so fiendishly difficult, so perplexingly complex, that no man has ever solved them. Ha, ha, ha. Damn. Now, try my first riddle. <clears throat> At night they come without being fetched. By day they are lost without being stolen. Hmm. 
I'm guessing, Mr. Jack of the Green, you're alluding to stars. Well, it sounds to me, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that if we're going to be beset by riddles, we're going to have to drink a thinking juice potion. Well, luckily I so happen to have one right here. Yes, better get the old uh, potions out. Hey, because I don't think Dan's got much of a... Uh, anything left in his cranium but that's okay we are the uh, pa uh, pastor we're the pastor no we're the puppet master behind Dan's moves there we go nice yeah nice throthy ale for the journey right so we're looking for stars now remember we saw some star oh hello bastard we saw... S oh, bloody hell. They're quite tough. Now, you might have missed what we just did there. Uh, before we were so rudely interrupted by that monk fellow there, I was going to say, these star hedges that we found earlier, that's what we need to find. And there's five of them to find, as you can see by the uh, little pop-up that keeps coming. Hello, friend. Man, I wish we had a better sword. Because this sword really is not fantastic at killing these guys. Now this sword does uh, twice the damage of the sword that we started with. And there he's hitting the bell, alarming all of his friendos. But that's okay, because we need their souls. So I say the more the merrier. Excellent. After all, they are nothing but wheat before the scythe. Now, we are up to almost half of the Chalice of Souls already, which is pretty fantabulous. And there we have another one of the stars. Three found, two remain. Right. Come on, Dan. Onwards. There's no time to take a nap just yet. Hello. I mean, we can kill that one. I don't really know why we would kill that one. I don't think it shoots at you. Most of these sentient hedges do. But that one didn't seem to. Also, some of these really do look like hidden walls, but they're not. Really does kind of trip you out. At least it trips me out, but then I'm stupid. Or perhaps it's all the uh, <laughs> thinking potions that I've been drinking today. Who knows? But hey, man. Uh, a toast must be drunk to Eddie Van Halen. Damn. Sad times indeed. Wow, we're getting wailed on pretty hard here. But that's fine. Right, not bad. Was that the last one? It was. Cool. But my star riddle was but a trifle. I always like to begin with an easy one. Return hither. You will not find my next conundrum. So Is that so, Mr. Jack? Well, I hope you've got a little bit more than that up your sleeve. Because that was rather pathetic. All right, Milado. Next. I live. Is that right? So, you must be a clown then. Hmm. Well, let's go see a clown. Now, if you remember the Book of Galomir, there was a clown-shaped um, shrub. I wonder if we're going to run into him at some point. Man controlling uh, our skeleton friend here with one hand is harder than you would think. Right. Now, a new area should have opened up, but not down here. Come on. There we go. <laughs> okay. Ah, we have some more monks here. Excellent. What's in here? I think this is a... Yeah, silver shield. Not bad. Give me your soul, monk. There we go. I shall see it gets where it needs to go. To your god. <laughs> yes, I'm totally not going to use the power of your soul to buy myself a passage uh, into the Hall of Heroes. Righty tighty. So this one, this is a really annoying puzzle. Uh, it was annoying in the original game, it's annoying here. Now, the trick with this is we have to change all of these faces around to face the clown. And as you can see, all these faces start off sad and they get happy. Easy, right? Well, no. 
Because they all move on a swivel. Uh, they all move at different times as well. Some of them move faster than others. And it's a real big pain in the dick. Unless you know the trick to it. Show the clown you care by surrounding him with smiles. Hmm, well, I guess we don't have any choice. So let's reset this puzzle and see if I can remember how to do it. What we want, we want all of the sad faces and then we want to hit them all so they're half, like so. And then I think we go back and we do that one, that one, that one, and that one. Ah, that was actually the right way, but we were just a little bit too slow. Ah, man, you know, I remember, I think in my original playthrough, uh, I really struggled with this one as well. It was just, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. But let's try it again. But as I said, as long as you know the trick, it's not too bad. But you still have to be really freaking fast. See what I mean? See what I mean? Do you see? Do you see how infuriatingly irritating this is? Ah, I never ever like this one. Right, let's wait for these to all move back. Let's reset them. Okay, so. Yunk, 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 yunk. Come on. It's so annoying when you keep missing as well. They're happy, happy, happy. Come on. Oh, son of a bitch. Right, one second, guys. Ah, uh, there we go. Yes, it was a clown. There we go. Very clever, I'm sure. Return in haste, Sir Knight, for I wish to see the despair on your face when you hear my next cryptic. Yeah, I never, never was a huge fan of that puzzle. I mean, I like the theory of it, but uh, it's it's quite frustrating. Anyway. Right, so what do you have for... Oh, God. I was going to say, what do you have for us next, Mr. Jack of the Green? Uh, looks like we have more monks, but that's fine. We can kill these monks. Dispatch them. Mm-hmm. They're fun to kill. They're squishy. Uh, this also does illustrate the combat issues uh, when you start fighting enemies that have uh, more HP. Uh, it's just a case of swinging the sword until they fall down and hoping that you don't get hurt too much. Face like a tree, skin like the sea, a great beast I be, yet vermin frighten me. Hmm. Mr. Jack? If I didn't know any better, I would swear you was talking about an elephant. Now, look at all these cats. Look at all these puss cats running around. Man, I wish we could scoop them up and take them home. But we cannot. Those cats are off limits. So, what we need to do, we now need the chaos rune. Because if you remember, the entrance that we used to come into this very gardens does indeed have a chaos rune claw. And we don't have one. So, let's go try and find that, shall we? Uh, looks like we're going to have a whole army of monks blocking our way. That's fine. And we have another garden uh, shrub. Sentient garden shrub. Ooh, that really hurts our shield there. Right, this guy's being a bit of a jackass, so let's pelt him with crossbow bolts. There we go. I don't know how many crossbow bolts it's going to take to kill him. Mind. There we go. He's done. He's done. Get the hell out of here. And there is our rune. We've almost lost two health bottles doing this. It definitely does get a little bit harder. But it should get a little bit easier again when we get our new sword. Which uh, I don't think is going to be for a little while. Oh, something made a ruckus. Right, Jack. Let's put the chaos rune in and see what that will reward us with. Really? A mouse? Hmm. Come, Pinky. Let us see if ooh, we can crack the riddle. Now, I bet you're wondering what all these cats were here for. They're, of course, to chase our beloved Pinky away. But we need Pinky. We need... Ah, oh, shit. Uh, actually. 
I should have cleared out these monks first. But we should be okay. We'll just use liberal amounts of crossbow bolts. Wow, the crossbow sucks. Way more than I thought it would. Dude, right, Pinky, follow me. As I blast these damn monks into oblivion. Now don't worry about the cats. We can't hurt the cats. And I'm really quite happy about that. Because I would hate to hurt the cats. I'm a massive fan of cats. Oh god. Okay. Do your stuff, Pinky. Excellent. Did you spot my bluff? Your bluff. I pretended that riddle was hard, but in truth it was obviously an elephant. This time, however, I almost pity you. The answer to my next vexing enigma has eluded the finest minds of a whole generation. Really? Come to me. Really, Jack? Why don't I believe you, Jack? Uh, come on, Fortescue. And where do all the cats go? Better not have hurt those cats, Mr. Jack of the Green. Or your head will come off quite nicely, I can assure you. Anyway. <clears throat> next. I tolerate the moon and stars. I can't abide the sun. Banish me with torchlight and you'll see me turn and run. Could you be talking about the moon, Jack? Not very difficult, is it, Jack? Right, call force askew. Let's go, me old buddy. Damn. All these enemies making being a hero easy. I was expecting a challenge. Nah, it's alright, mate. You go ring that. I need souls. Run! Ooh, nice. That's fine. That's fine. Back, you squirmy dogs. Hold the line there, Dan. Hold. Hold. Excellent. That's some fine work there, Dan. Any more? Yes, yeah, what I thought. Right, let's go get the chalice before we forget about it. Because in uh, in my state of drinking lots of this um, <clears throat> thinking juice, yes, thinking juice, uh, the mind does become rather forgetful. What do we need? We've got throwing daggers. Yeah, I guess we could get some more crossbow bolts. There we go. The crossbow is not a very powerful weapon, but I mean, it's as we've just seen there, it does have its uses. Okay. Onwards! Now, we have a healing fountain. Excellent. Life fountain. You uh, have some healing wind, Dan. I'm going to have some uh, more thinking juice. Yeah. Yes, thinking juice. Pubs from here on will be known as alchemists. Yes, purveyors of potions. I like that. Ah, looks like we have another... Shrub to take out. Whoa, and he just gobbed in our eye. It's not very nice of the fellow, really. Well, let's give him some of our longbow that good old Raven Hooves supplied us. This longbow is not bad. It does get better. We do get a rather delicious upgrade for it. Where's the healing fountain? Back here, I think. Drink ale because you're depressed. Because, oh no. Because one of the, the metal legends has ascended to the skies. Uh, and what happens? You become for forgetful. Right, okay, cool. I mean, yeah, saying I'm depressed is a <laughs> bit of an exaggeration. It was, you know, sad news indeed. But, you know, 2020 has been pretty bad. It really has. Uh, Van Halen, though. Oh, if nothing else, it was an excuse to go back and uh, fire him up again on Spotify. So, good times were had. But yeah, man, all the all the fucking greats are going. They're all leaving us. <sighs> but that's okay. We've got whatever the fuck she's called, Aria Grande, or I don't know, fucking hell, all those bloody talentless pop artists. Uh, I'm not bitter about it. It took me ages to come up with that darkness one. Very well. Outrageous as it seems, my vast intellect has been matched by your badly decomposed brain. <laughs> Return at once and I shall give you your prize. Yeah, uh, I mean, one thing to be said about Jack of the Green. You know, he may be trying to thwart us. 
But he's fair. You know, we complete his tasks, we do as he says, we beat his challenges, and he does hold his word. Pretty good of the fellow, to be honest with you. Now, what does that give us? Uh, if we go to our book... Excuse me. Uh, come on. There we go. We should... Jack of the... Gr oh, he's actually a friendly? Um, I mean, I guess he's neutral. He does, Like I say, he keeps his end of the bargain. There once was a statue named Jack. For riddles, he did have a knack. Mm. Dan entered the garden, which Jack was a garden. A smart hero would have turned back. Yes. A smart hero would have turned back. But Dan, well, Dan has no brains. But apparently he has enough mental capacity left to challenge and indeed defeat Jack of the Green. So let's go see just exactly what Jack makes of that. Hey, buddy. Ooh, arrow right up the nose. You think you're so clever, don't you? Here you are, sir, clever. <laughs> I grant you free passage through my maze. Find your own way out. Well, that's fair, Jack. I, you know, I actually really like what they've done with Jack the Green in this remake. And I really like the way he's animated in that kind of old school stop animation um, style. I think it lends itself really well to this game. Right, quite. So, let's go past our elephant friend here. And get the hell out of here. But, there is one last puzzle that we must defeat in order to uh, get our freedom. Uh, calling it a puzzle is a bit of a stretch. It's actually fairly easy. Oh, health. Yes, we have the chess puzzle in the gardens. Now, this puzzle is actually not really a puzzle. Um, we just got to hit them. And uh, hitting them will stop them uh, moving on their own. And then we just got to get the colored pieces into the right colored squares. Now, being a game of chess... They will only move in the correct um, directions of that piece, like the castle, queen, rook, that sort of thing. So these guys can only move in a straight line. This guy can only move diagonally. But, yeah, it, it's really not a challenge. Just a bit of fun. And I like that bit. I think it was cool. Uh, it would have been nice, really. I know... <sighs> I know this is a really, really faithful remake, and I'm glad that it's a faithful remake, but it would have been nice if they kind of, you know, kind of rebooted the game, kind of like what they did with uh, Medieval Resurrection. Uh, that was not a one-to-one -one remake. That was actually quite a different game. It would have been nice to give it that kind of treatment, but you know what? I will settle for a Medieval 3. Sony. Please, Med Look, I'm, I'm gonna spend like 500 fucking pounds on your PlayStation 5, Sony. Give me, give me Medieval 3. Please, please, please. Or you know what, Sony, I'll meet you halfway. Give us Medieval 2 Remaster, please. I'll be pretty happy with that. Right, so back at the Hall of Heroes. Back and forth like a supernatural yo-yo. Maybe the master will make it harder to find those magic egg cups. Yeah, maybe he will, but uh, Dan will sniff them out because Dan knows where they all are. Almost as if he's done this before. Ha. Huh. Anyway, let's go upstairs. Now, who is going to... Oh, dude, can I just... Please, can I just have your sword? No... No, that's probably the best item that we get from here. Hey, Mr. Fortis. Hello. I want to talk with Hello. you. Hello. Yeah, you, Dan. If this Zorak so bad, why would you get to go back? Why do you of all people for this game? <laughs> Oh, I like this guy. When I lived, always I had a pile of slainers strewn around me. You, you spend most of your time organizing and changing all the guard <laughs> and playing croquet with the king. <laughs> Still, 
I lend you my axe. You a swinker, you a throwhead. She thirsts for a slaughter as much as <laughs> Drink deep of demon blood, my proud beauty. Okay, he's probably my favorite. I've forgotten how freaking cool that guy was. So, um, yeah, the axe. The axe isn't a bad weapon. It's it, it does a reasonable amount of damage. And it does uh, activate pretty freaking quickly. And its secondary power is you can throw it. So it's, uh, it's kind of a replacement for Dan's arm, really, when you think about it. And it always returns to you. And it can hit enemies twice, because it will go through them and hit them. And on the return journey, it will hit them again. So, not a, ba not a bad weapon. Chops down trees and non-trees. certainly does. Anyway, guys. I'm going to end this video here. Because we're on 27 minutes. Now, the next level is actually really short. Which... Uh... I mean, I guess it's going to be its own thing because I said I'm going to do all the videos separately, but uh, the next level's really short. Should we just squeeze it onto the end of this one? Yes, let's do it. Shh, don't tell anyone. Inside the asylum. You're the first in Galamir's history to check themselves into the asylum. The other inmates are certain to enjoy your company. Briefly. Yeah, this uh, this is a really quick one. It's fun, though. I do like the Asylum level. It's like Battle Royale. Hey, zombies. Now, that's... Yeah, that's actually... Kills the zombies in one hit. I like it. This level kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Smash TV. See what I mean by Ghost for Enemies? Not a bad weapon. You could certainly do worse than this thing. The only trouble is, by the time you actually get it, uh, the weapons, you know, like this sword is way better than the axe. And the ranged weapons that we have are better than the axe as well. So it's a fun weapon, but it's just obsolete, really, as soon as you get it. And I think that can be said for a lot of the weapons in this game. They outdate themselves very quickly. There's a lot of weapons in this game, and a lot of them just don't really feel like they have a place. Anyway, we have cannons firing at us now. Come down, run! There we go. We do need some life bottles. I have a feeling there's a life bottle on this level, although I'm not 100% sure. Zombies! Hack them all! Swing like mush! At least turn them into mush, I should say. Oh god, look at them. Man, I'm not used to having such feeble weapons. There we go. That was a good little slice. Actually, the axe was pretty good against these things. Maybe the axe is actually more powerful. Yeah, maybe the axe is more powerful than this weapon. Huh. Titan, you've really got to stop talking shit, mate. Let's see if this is a better weapon. Although, obviously, it's much, much, much shorter range than the sword. Yeah, I mean, it definitely kills these guys in one hit. So there's that, I suppose. And, of course, you can throw it quite viciously. So if you get a nice load of them together, it does go through the whole crowd, which is nice. Hey, an energy bar. Not bad. I'll have it. Luckily, we do have a hell of a lot of health, so we're not going to worry too much. Uh, it would be very, <laughs> very unlucky if we actually got killed here. I don't think we will. Ah, no. The headless zombies. That's okay. Just run round them down. Ah, there's a couple of different character models for them, apparently. Which is interesting. So they take two swings of the axe to bring down. It's not bad, I suppose. But these guys do a heck of a lot of damage. If they actually hit into us. Come on, Dan. That's it, buddy. Keep moving and dancing with them. You're doing a fine job, my laddo. I would put my wager on you. Is that high praise? I get the feeling that's high praise. Oh, shit. That's it, Dan. Keep keep dancing. Keep dancing, buddy. You're doing great. Or something. Words of encouragement. Are you? Has the game bugged out? Ah, oh, come on. The game's bugged out. He's... 
He's not dead. He should be dead. Okay, there we go. Managed to kill him somehow. Uh, that's a bug that I haven't seen yet. God damn it. Now, we don't actually get anything for killing these bats, I don't think, unfortunately. So, let's move on. Man, we're encountering a lot of bugs. Now, we get uh, some new enemies. And I think what I'm going to do, because the axe is such short range. Let's switch up. These guys do a good bit of damage to us. So, we definitely want to keep our distance with these suckers. Not that that's helping too much right now. Come on, Dan. Keep moving, buddy. There we go. Ah, now, these guys are loonies, I believe. These are the real inmates of this uh, interesting establishment. Right, cool. Got some health. Definitely going to want some more health. Come on, Dan. Don't worry about the zombies so much, buddy. It's these crazy loonies, which I think we've killed. I think we get some headless ones here so, as well. In a minute. <sighs> <sighs> you doing okay, Dan? You hanging in there, buddy? Oh, nice. I think you're hanging in there. That was some sketchy stuff right there. Now, do we need anything? Uh, I guess we have some more of those. Really need to stop using spears because they're so expensive and really not worth it. Okay. Round three. Bloody loony bastards. That's okay. With the cannon. This time the cannons actually track us. Which is a little bit annoying. It's a lot harder, as you can see, to escape these cannons. Because the cannonballs do... I don't know if they home in on you, but they certainly feel like it. Magical means. I call it bullshit game logic. There we go. Now, what we could use, really, if we were smart, is use some ranged combat here, but... Man, sometimes you don't want to play smart. Sometimes you just want to hack and slash and push the button until the angry men fall down. Chalice can now be collected. Oh, God! That's actually quite nice. Quite often, as well, enemies will get stuck in these doors, which... Yes. Is an annoying... Uh, feature? As Todd Howard would say? I think Todd Howard would call it a feature. Right, this is the end of the level. Yeah, I was right to just tack this on, I think. Didn't need to be a separate video. Found the Earth Room. You certainly did, Dan. And there is a health... Uh, a life well there. Life fountain, I think they're called. Nice. Let's fill as many of those bottles as we can. Which is probably two. I think you get two health bottles worth of health from each one. I bet you are. That Zarek tried to force me to hand over the Shadow Artifact. He means to release the demons from their tomb under the enchanted forest. Son of a bitch. But I said to him, I said, You can't touch me, you lanky windbag. I'm the Mur. Aye, that told him. But then he had me locked up in here with all these nutters. Oh, it's been terrible. I haven't managed to get a word of sense out of anyone in weeks. <laughs> right. Well, I'll see myself. I love the way he walks off. You have a good look around, lad. Zarek's left some stuff lying about that I think you might find useful. <laughs> he just, just like waddles out. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of his character design. I think he looked better in the original. And there's our second dragon gem. We do need the dragon gems. And I think that's all that's here. Maybe there's a secret entrance here somewhere. Let's have a little look, shall we? Hmm. I believe in the original game there was a chalice around here somewhere. I could be wrong about that. I could be getting confused with a health file. But we can't go anywhere here. Yeah, uh, or actually I might be confusing it with Medieval Resurrection. There's three versions of this game, goddammit. Which is ridiculous. Anyway, let's get out of here. To the Hall of Heroes. And claim our 10th question mark prize? Or is it our 11th? I can't remember. 
We only need the 10 or 11. I don't think we get the sword until... Ooh. Oh, we're on number 10. So we got about four more chalices or so to collect before we get the powerful sword. Oh, man. I was hoping that was going to send all of these things flying. All right. Well, back to the second floor, I suppose. Uh, oh, back to Raven Hooves by the look of things. He might give us his flaming bow. Is it just raven hooves or do we have a... Ch oh, we have a choice. We could get the shield. Or we could talk to raven hooves. I never used the shield, so we're going to talk to raven hooves. Oh, Danielle. I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Really? You fancy a little gamble, like? Yeah, he gave it. I was confused then. I thought he was going to give us a life bottle or some money. Because, of course, he says <laughs> he has no idea what it is. But he's a centaur, archer. How can he not know what the flaming longbow is? I'm thinking too hard about this, I think. Uh, yeah, so now we have the flaming bow. The flaming bow is really powerful. I believe the ammunition for it is crazy money. Uh, 80 for 25 shots. Actually, it's not too bad, I suppose, when you consider 10 of those is 100. Yep, uh, this does damage over time, and you can really charge it up. And uh, fire explosive arrows as well. This is probably my favorite ranged weapon, if you don't include the... Well, that would be telling. Were, uh, last thing you get from here. But yeah, I do, I do love the fire bow. You can use it to set things on fire, obviously. It's really good against the farmers in the pumpkin gorge level. And it's really good um, against the trees and hedges and the scarecrows. It destroys the scarecrows. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.